Hey, what's going on fellow LEGO fans? It's Jordan here. Today we're going to be discussing how I go about planning changes in my LEGO city. So there's a bunch of new sets coming out and I have a bunch of mocks in progress. Uh, including the uh, mock that I just did there. I just rebuilt my skyscraper. So there's the new look of it there. Uh, I only had enough parts for uh, five floors. So I'm still working on that and uh, it's still not finishing the inside or anything, but I think it looks a lot better than your classic than my classic skyscraper. But um, essentially I just have to make a lot more room in my Lego city for more mocks like that and also for some some of the new sets that are coming out. And also I've been eyeing up uh, finally the cafe corner and the green grocer which I do plan on introducing into my city here hoping to win some auctions on eBay potentially or snap those up from BrickLink. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you guys how I go about planning changes in the LEGO City because I do plan on making uh, all the buildings um, side by side back to back just to eliminate some of the road plates and uh, make some more room for some cooler stuff in the LEGO City. So we'll make our way upstairs and I'm going to show you how I do that. So at all times I have a Excel spreadsheet on my desktop with my LEGO City layout. So you can see this is my current LEGO City layout here. It's 9 plates by 17 plates going this way. So right now we have the ocean here, the beach going around this way. Uh, I have that water feature right here in the park by the town hall. Then you can see all the black outlining the roads. You got skyscraper number one, skyscraper number two, the Avengers Tower, the gas station, the Ghostbusters HQ, the cinema, the pet shop, the detective's office. So each square will represent one 10 by 10 inch uh, Lego plate. And I uh, represent the buildings in red. So there's the residential block, the Simpsons, the jail, the train station, the police station, the fire station. <clears throat> then I represent the park areas in green, road in black. Got a little construction site there. This is the train yard, takes up quite a bit of room, but it's the nature of trains. You got the helipad there. So at any given point, I can uh, essentially just create new buildings and work them into my layout by copying and put them over here. And then I plan on getting the green grocer so I can just make a new one for that. So there's the green grocer now. Then we can make another one called the cafe corner. And essentially you can just make anything you want, um, the plates, and then you can place them wherever you want. And it'll replace the cells. So it's pretty convenient because I mean, it's one thing to just go and, and start doing it and take everything off the table and then you got a heck of a mess. But this is a really easy way just to plan like where everything's going to be, where all the roads are going to be, where all the, the buildings are going to be and everything like that. So what we're going to do here now is we'll just watch a sped up variety of me sort of tinkering with this spreadsheet uh, to get my new layout. Um, because I plan on putting these um, modular buildings all sort of side by side maybe in this block here or something like that um, or maybe they'll be like here and here with a strip of road there I haven't really decided so rather than jumping into the city and making a mess I'm going to decide what I'm going to do here on my Excel spreadsheet so uh, just uh, let's sit back and see what I plan on doing here So as you can see, I made some changes here. I put the strip of modulars, modular buildings here and here and sort of around the corner with the Avengers uh, tower there. Put the car dealership over here with the gas station. Move the uh, skyscrapers over here with the Ghostbusters HQ. Uh, I added two buildings, the cafe corner and the green grocer. That's why there's two remainder plates over here. 
But uh, what I did is I just saved this as a, as a Lego C layout test. So it's test number one. I'm sure I'll make two or three or four more or whatever, however many it takes to get the layout exactly how I want it. So I know what to do before I start moving buildings and making a mess down in the uh, Lego city there. <clears throat> it is a really beneficial to, tool to use this Excel spreadsheet. Makes it a lot easier than doing multiple drawings or <clears throat> using grid paper because it's always changeable. Um, one other thing there is uh, I got a couple other buildings coming in. So we have the uh, old fishing shack. And we have the welcome to Ninjago City. Which is actually two plates. Well, a plate and a half, but I'll just consider it two. So I still have to make room for uh, all those, for those guys there. So um, definitely have a lot more tinkering to do here. I could definitely eliminate some of this park going around the town hall or get rid of this water feature. But where where I'm going to put these uh, these guys, I don't know. So it's just really beneficial to have this spreadsheet at all times with my Lego City layout. So I hope this uh, maybe gives you guys an idea. If anybody's not doing this, I do recommend it. Let me know what you guys think by commenting below. If you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up in the bottom right corner of your uh, window there. Um, as always, guys, keep calm. Build on. Jordbricks out. Bricks, out.